High low pressure control is a safety device. There's two, actually taken separately. The high pressure control is there if a condenser fan quits or the condenser becomes filled with filth and dirt and cannot get proper airflow, the head pressure continues to rise up. With increasing head pressure, it adversely affects the operation of the system, the temperatures go up, but it will kill the compressor. So the high pressure safety, generally they're manual resettable on commercial systems, will trip if the pressure gets too high and it's to protect the compressor from over pressurizing. Remember the words critical pressure? Critical is bad. All right, the high pressure control stops critical head pressure. Low pressure control. I didn't necessarily, necessarily want to go into this much detail, but I love detail. Low pressure control does two things. Item number one, the low pressure control will open up and shut the system off if you lose your refrigerant. It opens up, no refrigerant, system shuts down. Safety device. But on some refrigeration <coughs> systems like this one, the low pressure control actually by monitoring the low pressure allows you to monitor the temperature in the space. And they use the low pressure control cycling on and off with the differential to control the temperature. So in this particular case, they use the low pressure control to shut off the compressor when the system is A, evaporator number one is satisfied, liquid solenoid valve is closed and no more fragrance being used, and B, low temperature evaporator is satisfied, Low pressure is dropped, unit shuts off, compressor goes on the off cycle. So on this diagram, it does two purposes. It cycles the compressor to main tem temperature of the low temp evaporator, and it's a safety device. If you lose your refrigerant, you will sadly burn your system up. So it shuts the compressor off, won't allow it to come on. This device is a commonly called a headmaster. It is a valve that bypasses hot gas around the condenser. It bypasses hot gas around the condenser. Where's the compressor? I'm sorry. Bypasses hot gas around the condenser to maintain system pressures. So in this case, we're bypassing gas around the condenser to maintain higher head pressures. Okay? Now I did something similar to that with the hot gas bypass, but on mine the hot gas was sent all the way back into the compressor. On this one, we bypass gas around the condenser. Commonly called a headmaster, it's a one valve with three ports located on the discharge side. They are using a two port system with two valves, does the same thing. So normally I just have one valve here, one valve will be a headmaster. They are requiring us to put in two separate valves to do the same thing. You'll find headmaster in your textbook. You'll find headmaster in chapter 13. It maintains the proper high side pressure under low ambient conditions. How are we doing? Is there anything I missed?